Today I'll show you my top selling files and what I learned analyzing them. Hello again, I'm Guy Siebert and this is My Creative Income. Uh, the purpose of this channel is to help more and more people to achieve creative income and so they can focus on, on what really matters. For now, I'm focusing on stock footage and stock photography, which is something I've been doing since 2012. If you haven't started yet, you can find a lot of interesting links on the description. On the last video, I brought you a full report of my incomes in 2017. I was very happy with the comments and support I received and critics as well. <laughs> But it's amazing to see this happening since the first video. It makes me believe that we can really bring some content out of this channel. So if making income out of your creativity is something that interests you, be sure to hit subscribe. One of the comments that I received on the last video suggests that I talk about my best sellers. And this is a very interesting subject because you can learn a lot when you analyze other contributors' portfolio. So I will go farther and I'll also tell you the earnings each file brought. Please keep in mind that I am an average contributor. Uh, a lot of you guys are much better than me. Uh, my portfolio size goes a little over 300 files and I still don't make a living out of this. Um, this channel is really focused on helping more people how to get there. And I'm not here to show, to, to show off how many files I have and the size of my portfolio. Um, this is something that I really want to go working on and growing and do this together with you guys. So, right when I started analyzing these files, I got surprised once again with how unpredictable this market is. Many of the clips that I was sure that would sell a lot didn't come even close to a lot of, of, of files that I don't really like that have been selling a lot. So, I'll stop fooling around and let's go for it. Number one, and this is by far my best seller. It's a group of space travels made on After Effects and so far they made me $1,900. 50% came from Shutterstock, 40% came from Pond5, and 10% from Deposit Photos. These are actually the only files that I made that were entirely made on computer, and it makes me think to, that maybe I should invest more time in doing this kind of files. They were originally made for another project. It was a service opener for my church, uh, which later I adapted to sell. And it's quite a nice effect, but I never expected that they would sell so well, and I'm so happy that I did submit them. This is the first lesson that I would say I've learned from this analysis. Leave no file behind. You have no idea of what can sell. And even those crazy things that you thought nobody would buy. And I have a lot of these in my channel. But sometimes these kind of files, they sell a lot. And I mean, you're not going to lose so much time just trying to submit them. It's, it's worth a try. On the second place, I have this slow motion shot of the Brazilian flag. This file alone made me more than $900. 92% came from Shutterstock. And it was shot in 2014, a few months before the World Cup in Brazil. And it's a very strategic one. And this is the kind of opportunity that you shouldn't lose. If you have this kind of things happening close to you, uh, this is, was the World Cup, which of course is a very large event but sometimes there's something close to you happening that it's important to someone that it's uh, it's cheaper for them to buy it from you than to send someone from another country to go to your country and and shoot it so definitely do enjoy these opportunities around you and i did this one with my canon 60d and it's not even in full hd um, so this is a second lesson you can you can learn here that to start with what you got on third place, there is this pack of shots that I made from my city, public transportation. There are five files that combined made me 700, more than $700. 20% came from story blocks, while Pond5 and Shutterstock represented 40% each. Apparently, the city where I live, uh, Curitiba, it's a historical reference for public transportation. So I guess these images do well for documentaries. And the lesson I learned from this one is to explore the unique subjects that are close to you. Many other clips that I have from touristic points of my city, they also sell well. I, I believe this works well if you live in a city that it's not in the mainstream cities, the mainstream touristic points. So I guess this is something you can definitely explore. So next we have this aerial shot of the Amazon forest. And with this shot, I was able to sell $600 and so far. 
This one is strong in Pond5, uh, not so strong in Shutterstock. Pond5 represented 80% of the sales of this one, and Shutterstock had 13%, while Starblocks had 7%. And if I combine the other images I did on this trip to the Amazon, it would easily go over a thousand dollars, which is, I believe, enough to cover all the costs I had on this trip. So this is a very good lesson that I learned uh, to make good use of my travelings. Here's a very funny one. This was one of my first approved files and it was actually just a test that I made with my dog and it sold $357. 40% came from Pond5 and 30% from Shutterstock and iStock each. What I learned from this is that commercial value is way closer than what I think. Um, there's probably something around you that, that has some commercial value for someone. So let's go to the sixth one. This is another interesting case. It's a shot of a sunset in the mirror of a car. Um, I have no idea where this was made. Um, you can see that it's not a very special car. Um, but the funny on this one is that there are no sales on other agencies. Just on Shutterstock. $230 here. The lesson I learned Take your camera with you all the time. Um, this is something that I fail to do a lot of times, but uh, it's something that I'm definitely going to change this year. The next one is of this public university here in my city that for some reason sells a lot, $228. The original file was shot during night in very bad conditions, not with a good camera. So I tried again with a better camera a couple of years later and no sales, go figure. So, once again, start with what you got. Uh, what you have already on your computer, what you can already start doing today. Maybe even with your phone, we can talk about that later. Start with what you got. So, I will stop here, but there is still a lot of curious cases I could talk about. And it's interesting how many files that I don't like sell better than the ones I'm proud of. So, and this is something that I would like to hear from you. You can put it on the comments below, but which are your your funny bestsellers. And I guess that if we talk a little more about this, we can learn a lot from each other. This is it for today, guys. Keep uploading those files and let me know what you would like me to talk on the next videos.